Hi everybody, Fran Harris. Welcome to Membership Sites for Rookies. This week we're going to talk about the four P's. Promotions, products, partnerships, and profits. Very important, the four P's. Your promotional strategy, your product strategy, your partnership strategy will lead to tons of profits. All right. So what is your promotional strategy going to consist of? Well first before we do that I want to talk about what promotions are and why you should care. A lot of people confuse promotions and advertising. So sometimes you'll see a sales promotion like a radio advertisement will say, come on down, we're going to give away three memberships, we're going to give away three Mercedes Benzes in the next 24 hours or whatever. Well, the delivery method, the vehicle was radio advertising, but the contest was a sales promotion. So I really want to etch that, burn that in your brain, because what I'm going to ask you to do for membership sites for rookies is to put together your own promotional plan. Now your strategy, you know, the strategy is the how. Okay, it's, the, it's going to be the how you're going to do it. And then we're also going to talk about the tactics, the what that you're actually going to do to get you to that profit place. Here's why promotions are crucial to your site or your program success. They are little quick hitters. The, the example I gave about the car salesman on the radio or on television saying, come on down this weekend, you've seen them, they're annoying, but they work. If they didn't work, remember what I said probably in the marketing, the marketing strategy piece, if it didn't work, they wouldn't be doing it. Most people who are hugely successful don't do things or they don't continue to do things that don't work. So if you're up on a Saturday morning at 8 o'clock in the morning and you see this car salesperson saying, come on down right now, we've got three Pontiacs we're going to give away in the next hour, it's because they work. That is a sales promotion. All right? They're designed to be quick hitters. They're designed to infuse income, revenue, into your bottom line immediately. And so that's why I really stress with any of the people that I coach, what is your what does your promotional calendar look like? All right? So the key to profits, if the four P's are promotions, partnerships, and what was my other what was my other P? Promotions, partnerships, products, planning has to be P number five. Planning is crucial, crucial to making money with your own membership sites. So I talked a little bit about your marketing calendar in the last module and the reason we're going over this again is because I knew we were going to be talking about promotions and products and planning and partnerships which those all fit together. So we're going to talk about your marketing calendar and here's the first thing I want to say. Your promotions calendar which is synonymous by the way. Your marketing calendar, promotions calendar, same thing. Your promotional calendar should have items on it for at least, at minimum, 30% of the month. So if there are 30 days in a month, then you should at least have between 10 and 11 or 12 promotions running during that month. Is that a hard and fast rule? No. It's just a general rule that I use that pretty much keeps me on a certain predictable income path. If I'm promoting something at least a third of the month, I've got something going on cre creating excitement, then my income is going to be very predictable. So I want you to really key in on that. I want you to really key in on the fact that you need to have promotions running all month long. And I also want you to start listening to television. If, even if you're not a television watcher, then turn on the television, TVO it or DVR it for one full day, like on one of the major networks. And I want you to see the number of promotions that you see running on your local television station. It would be furniture, sometimes it's an exterminator, it's a car salesperson. Check out the number of promotions you see and start to see the elements of the promotions that you see. And, and literally, I want you to write down for three promotions, write down for three promotions the elements they use. They use time. Hey, come down here right now before midnight. That's an, that's an element. That's a very time sensitive, sensitive element that gets people to take action. Okay? That's what you need to have in your promotions. You also need to show, of course, the customer what is in it for them. I'm going to save you time. I'm going to save you money. Whatever that is, it has to be that benefit element as well. Okay, but at minimum, you should, your calendar should have at least a third of, it, of that calendar filled with promotions. So this is just a sample calendar from my computer. And just to give you some examples of the kinds of promotions that you can have on, I'm actually going to share in a second uh, some of the promotions that I did this year already and that I'm going to be doing later. But always, you should have something going on in the week of New Year's, whatever. It doesn't even matter what it is. Just a New Year's promotion. Okay, you can do resolutions. You can do, I think, pre is it President's Day that's in January? There's something in January. 
And so you can do that Martin Luther King Day. Lots of other religious holidays are in January. It doesn't matter. You've got a lot of days to play with. Just create something in every single month of the year for your site.